Welcome back, folks, to a brand new How to Build. Today I'll be showing you how to build Dreadnought from Mobile Wars Series 4. So, this is the replica. We've got the lifting forks, and uh, I take those down just because they're very annoying and they like to come off like so. But, um, yeah. So, this is Dreadnought, and today I'll be showing you how to build it. So, let's get into the materials. You're going to need to build it, this robot. You're going to need the following materials. You're going to need these instructions, which will be linked down below in the description. You're going to need an eraser, a pair of scissors, a ruler, some tape, um, some circular object or a compass. With um, For the circular object, you're going to need a diameter of 11.25 centimeters. Um, if you've got a compass, I think you can figure that out like that, using that. A pencil. That's going to be for all the curves on the instructions, I believe. Except for the one curve um, having to do right here. That curve right there, that's going to be something different. That can be whatever, as long as it's a bit small. Um, you're going to need something to cut holes with. You're going to need a toothpick. Um, possibly a penny. A red marker, a pen. A black marker, a pen. A green marker, a pen. A pencil sharpener. And, if you need it, duct tape. Also cardboard, because that's very important. I use cardboard. You can use card or something else, but yeah. Um, and basically what I want to do, once you have all your materials gathered, you're going to want to uh, copy your instructions onto those materials, and you're then going to um, color them in, cut them out, layer of tape over the top. If you have, you're using card, I recommend duct tape on the bottom, and then you're going to cut it out. And let's get on to making the wheels. So we're going to start out by making the wheels. So um, how you make the wheels is that you have these very long strips and you have four circles. Um, you have two long strips and four circles. And what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of wrap the um, strips around the circles, both of them, and you're just going to kind of tape them on and you'll get your wheels done. So um, yeah, that's basically how you do your wheels. So next up, we're going to do part of the chassis. Now, um... The way we're going to do that is um, you have your base, of course, which you've cut out. And uh, what you're going to do, you have, you have these little, very identifiable strips, right? Um, kind of thin, but they get really large near the middle. Um, you're going to put the, you're just going to kind of wrap those around the sides, and uh, you'll get that. Now, what you're not going to want to do, which is what I did, is I made this angle go too far back. That angle should end about here. Um... believe so yeah so this angle should end about here and not so far over here or i think it's just a this angle yeah this angle should end over here otherwise you're gonna end up with a bit of problem now you may need to cut this down a bit just so that works but um yeah then you have this back panel which is also oh i'm sorry if i wasn't if the camera wasn't really being able to see everything this back panel which is pretty identifiable kind of roundish very thin i'm gonna attach that onto the back with these strips attaching to it and then you have this other panel, not this one in front, but this, uh, uh, hopefully that you can kind of make, make out what that panel is. You attach that one on, and that one is going to be attached to the front, and you're attached to the angles. And then, um, I guess you would put these on first, actually, but um, this one should be farther in, of course, because I messed that up. But um, this one is the first, is the taller rat on the one, and you attach it over right here and onto the backs. And then this one will go on near the front, um, because it's shorter. And the... Uh, yeah, that's basically what you do, and uh, there's this um, other part, which is pretty identifiable piece, and this one, kind of angled, looks kind of like horns, and you have these other two identif identifiable pieces, attach those onto here, to these, and then attach them to the bottom as well. Um, shorter sides, or um, shorter length sides go on the bottom, longer length go on the top, so attach to the top. So, um, yeah, and uh, the reason you're not going to get this completely done is because you're going to actually want to put in your wheels now. And secure them well so that they don't pop um, down. Or up, actually. Okay, so let's finish um, up the main chassis. So this is what you're going to want to get it to. Now, um, your instructions might look a bit odd compared to what you're seeing here. So, uh, let me just go over what you're going to do. So, um, basically, what you're going to do is... Uh, I don't really know where to start. Um, let's start with... Uh, let's start with this. So, uh, you have this panel. So, this panel is the... Um, it's the 2.5 by 2.25, um, which is at which, um, by 3, um, it has two curves. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong, 
Isn't that the right? Yeah, that's the right panel. It has two curves, one going inward and one going outward. And that one, you have the outward facing um, the out, this side and inward facing this side. And what you're going to do is you're going to attach those onto the side of this panel. What you're then going to do is um, you have this. I already, should, I already attached this panel on, right? Um, so what you're then going to do is attach this, this onto this thing and onto this thing and kind of curve this around that right there i need to add some highlights because this is a bit scuffed right now but um yeah so then you're gonna curve it around there so uh next what we're gonna do is we are going to so i end up messing up my measurements so this is completely incorrect compared to what your instructions say um even if your instructions say are correct then which they are you might need to cut it down just slightly because what you're gonna want to do is make it so that this reaches up top here you're gonna attach it onto the very tippy top of this very back panel area right over here i know this is really failing to focus in sort of focus there very nice um so hopefully i'm making sense so then um you have this panel so this panel is the one in the very very um far right bottom corner that one you can attach onto here and on kind of connect these kind of give it a bit more sturdy make it a bit sturdier um, and then you have this panel. So this panel is the really weird curved one, very identifiable piece. This one you're gonna attach um the very tall curved part onto here, and the kind of smaller curve onto this area, and you'll get it to go like there. I ended up making them way too large, so now my um details are a bit scuffed on it as well. So that's a bit unfortunate for me, but hopefully it just turns out a lot better because you're gonna have the right instructions. So. Yeah, um, onto the back. So, my back is going to be so the back should be correct if I did my math right. Mine's a bit shorter than it should be. Because I failed at attaching this piece on correctly, and I didn't, it was too lazy to go back and reverse it. But, um, basically, if it is a bit too long, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to kind of cut off the end of here, and kind of cut off the lizard tail a bit, or just like the back end of this very identifiable piece. It's the one that is, um, it's the 5 by 2, um, which is 5 centimeters tall, and it's angled inward. Um, sorry if this is really blurry. I'm having trouble explaining things, but, um, you're gonna bend it around the, this part, and then bend it around this back panel, and, uh, yeah. And then you have two sheets, which I couldn't get the exact measurements for, just because I don't really know what they are. And, um, but it's the 5 by 3.75. So what you're going to want to do to try to figure out, so, what I did was I cut these little corners over here a bit, and then I kind of cut it across to make it so that it was angled a bit more. So I could easily flex it around this panel and get it to bend all the way around. Oh, I, okay, so... There's these little panels, which are um, pretty identifiable. They're very thin pieces, thin pieces, uh, which you are just bend around this, and you're just going to attach those on right now uh, as well. And you're going to kind of bend this panel around them, and you might need to make some adjustments to this panel and cut it up a bit just to get it right. But once you do, you sh it should the back should look, should look like so. And you're going to basically be here now. So, yeah, a lot of weird stuff going on. Hope that made some sense. But, um, yeah. Looking pretty good so far. And now we're going to want to ignore the main chassis because it's time to make the weapon. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a coin. I got a penny. And um, all your triangular pieces. I've got them, them already made. So let's explain this. Um, so basically what you want to do is you have your triangular pieces. So you have this back side, which is one piece, as you can see, on your instructions. It's that very weird um, two triangles attached to each other, basically. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take, um, you have, I believe, a tall triangle and a shorter triangle. Your shorter triangle is going to go on the bottom, taller, um, the shorter triangle is going to go on the corresponding side, and the taller one is going to go on the corresponding side just based on how tall they are. And you're just going to kind of connect them at a 90 degree angle, like so. And then what you're going to want to do is you have this very big triangle. That one's going to get attached um, so that it looks like so when it's flat. Attach it onto the bottom over here, onto the corresponding angle, onto the corresponding length, and attach it onto the other corresponding length. And then you have this one with a circle attached to it, that one, oh, sorry about that. That one with the circle attached to it, you're going to attach onto the corresponding lengths, except for this little circle bit, which will be loose. 
And uh, you're going to do that twice. Okay, now take your toothpick, which um, doesn't have to be red, but mine is. And you're going to cut some holes using your um, hole cutter or whatever you're using. I'm using uh, something. I'll show you in a minute. I've got my thing to cut holes with, but um, yeah, you're just going to cut some holes through the center of the circles. Okay, so now that you've cut your holes through them, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to attach your toothpick onto this kind of area in between the, um, kind of like this front area. And you're going to tape on your toothpick onto there like I did right here. As you can kind of see, I just kind of taped it on like so. And what you're going to do is because this thing uh, was doing the thing earlier. So you might not need a coin, but just in case your thing is getting outweighed by the back, which is definitely possible. Uh, what you're going to do is just insert a coin and put it down here. And it should probably not pop out just because you'll have these in between in the, in, in the way. But if it does start popping out, you might need to put some tape in between here. And then you're going to attach on your forks, your lifting forks. So as you can see, I've added a bit of tape just to block the coin. And I've added a bit of tape to block off so that this doesn't come off. I attached it on. I had also added some just double sticky, double sided sticky tape to, um, well, tape. I just, I rolled it to, um, so that this stays in place because it does, um, um, it's very, like, it moves around on its own quite easily just thanks to gravity. But, um, and, uh, physics, I think. But, um, yeah. So... That's basically how you build it. That's basically the whole robot. Now it's got its nice lifting forks, which do work like so. Uh, it's got nice two wheels. It's got lots of ground clearance. It's got a very nice lizard thing. That's what I thought it was on the back. Yeah. That's basically Dreadnought, so... Um, I'm going to do some highlights, and then I'll show you the final product. And there we go, folks. That is Dreadnought, and I am pretty happy with this. I'm sorry if this how to build was extremely sluggish. Um, I just really had trouble with the shape of this robot, and a lot of my measurements ended up being wrong. Well, not a lot, because a lot of them actually ended up being right, which I was really happy with, but some of them did, and that ended up causing me to take a lot longer. Got very sluggish with this how to build. Um, hopefully you enjoyed, though. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, that's this how to build. Goodbye.